Hello, I'm Dr. Yub. Today I'm here to discuss about school refusal. In the next couple of minutes, I will be discussing about school refusal, its presenting symptoms, the causes, and treatment. If we see the presenting problem and school refusal, these child have difficulty to go to school or difficulty to stay at school. The physical problem which start before going to school or at school include a dick, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and general feeling of not being well. The emotional and behavioral issue include temper tantrum, aggression, and being fearful all the time. If we see the diagnosis of school refusal, this is the tip of iceberg. That means it is not a diagnostic entity, but it could be presentation of any underlying psychiatric, social, or emotional issue. So as a psychiatrist, as a teacher, or as a parent, it's important for us to look at the bottom of the iceberg for the reason of school refusal, which can be due to certain stressor like exam, bullying at school or outside the home, adjustment to new school, certain anxiety disorder, including separation anxiety disorder, social anxiety and phobic anxiety disorder. Mood disorder in children can present with school refusal. Positional deviant disorder and conduct disorder can present with school refusal. Poor parenting, including the overprotective parenting, poor and academics also lead to school refusal. Here it is important to know the commonest reason for the school refusal in different age groups. In very young child, uh, like child who are at five to seven year old, separation anxiety is the commonest reason for school refusal while the child who are at 11 year or older, the commonest reason is uh, switching to secondary school. And teenage, the commonest reason include anxiety, depression, certain stressor are the reason for the school refusal. It's one to five how to under children. In school refusal, it's very important to identify, to differentiate school refusal from the truancy. So in school refusal, the problem is egocentric, which means that these child are not going to school, but the child are concerned about their absences at school. And truancy, the child are absent from the school, but they doesn't bother the child. The school refusal also uh, present with emotional symptoms, as we mentioned. They have family history of neurosis, and some cases overprotective parenting. This child has satisfactory academic achievement. They are usually and from the small family or youngest and the family. Parents are aware of absence from the school, and there is no gender difference. While in truant or truancy, there's associated antisocial symptoms along with school refusal. They usually have a positive family history of antisocial behavior, inconsistent parenting discipline, poor academic achievement, larger family size. Child, these child are neither at school or nor at home. And uh, truancy is more common in males. The management of school refusal is multidisciplinary. The main concern is uh, identifying the underlying cause and doing functional behavioral analysis for school refusal behavior. The treatment is uh, biopsychosocial. The psychosocial treatment is the main issue of treatment in which treating for the underlying cause is initial. While this child has issue 
to go to school. So Harley returned to school with the supported companionship is essential. In case of chronic school refusal, gradual exposure to school is also important. If we treat this child with adequate psychosocial support, 70% resume schooling, while some of the child can present with long lasting sequelae in the form of separation anxiety, social anxiety, and communication difficulties. With this, I'm concluding my presentation. If there's any question, kindly write in the chat box. Thank you.